Okay, let's look at the point of uh, the ski kamai that we make in Shihogiri after we've made the first strike. So to give you a bit of history, we used to be making sure that our feet didn't drag behind us. So if this is the line that I do the initial Kotoyuchi strike on, what we used to do is kind of get both feet pointing in this direction, a bit like uh, Yayahami and Jodo in order that we didn't end up with the foot doing this, that we'd push off this back foot and keep ourselves like this. So if, um, if I now imagine doing this uh, as I would in, in the actual grading in a, in a, in a Shiaijo, for example, uh, if I'm now pointing diagonally to the room, then we used to try to make sure that both feet pointed towards this wall. Okay. Now this is fine actually, but any more than this, then it starts to create problems. The reason for that is that the Chakuganten of Shihogiri asks that the just before the ski, the back of the monouchi should be in contact with the left side of the chest. So it really actually states this, that it should be on the left side of the chest here. Now, if I again go back to doing uh, the strike in this direction, and then you can see where I am in relation to my feet. Now, most of the Zenken Ren high high grade delegations talk about being in hitoemi, hitoemi like this. Now this is where we are completely side on to our direction of travel as we would be in say Kudo for example, with both feet splayed this way. But the idea is to be able to step, so our feet don't need to be like this, so it's not true hitoemi, it's, it's like hitoemi. If we do this hitoemi with the upper body though, it means that we're able to place the monouchi on the side of the chest. So our feet are trying to turn slightly towards our direction of travel, but our upper body is slightly trying to pull back to keep the sword pointing at the opponent by resting the back of the monouchi against the left side of the chest. Now you can see that if I overdo my turn like this, what happens instead, my feet are in the right position and they're pointing in the right direction, but now I've got the middle part of the blade resting against the right side of my chest, so that if I then try to move the sword so that the monouchi is on the left side of the chest, this is now pointing in the wrong direction. This will now ski somebody to the left of my opponent. So I have to create the upper body being almost kind of mahami, but the lower portion being pointed slightly in this direction. So if this means the chest very slightly turns uh, this way, it's not a big problem. But if you pull the left shoulder back too much and you turn your chest too much, then this is no longer uh, following the chakugantan that's required because we're basically not making hitoemi. So just try to reduce the amount of upper body turn that you make when you move your foot so that you can feel the back of the monouchi in contact with the left side of your chest. Okay, hopefully that is useful.